and jump into Q and A. Let's do that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Comments. Joe A says, I got to go into work since I had a tough crypto year. Hey, I was, the, I was in the same boat, 2018. So 90% of, of my portfolio go down. Guess what I did? Started up another business. And uh, I did that. And then uh, dollar cost average from 2018, 19, and 20. And it paid off quite handsomely in 2021. I think we're due for a recession and all that stuff. But it doesn't matter because this is when all the money's made, when everybody builds. Hmm. Silent Swordsman says Cardano is a quality decentralized layer one the world needs. Let's hope so. And I'm not saying that Cardano is like everything's great and they have no problems. I'm just saying yeah, they're building and looks like they're doing some good things. So uh, that's it. I don't care if you like Cardano or Ethereum or Avalanche or Polkadot or Cosmos, whatever else. I'm just here to, to make the investment. And uh, I don't have a I'm not in love with anybody, uh, with any of these projects, but it's just like, I don't know if you remember like back in the eighties, uh, they would always talk about, uh, buying American cars and American cars kind of sucked back then. So people would say, build a better car and I'll invest into that. So now I'm the same way. I'm like, look, if you're doing good things in your building, I'll invest into you. I don't ask for much. Just, just do your job. Let's see. Human, human healer says short Cardano now. And you, you, human healer, you might be right because uh, the Vazel upgrade is coming, uh, I think it's the 22nd. So that means that people are going to buy the rumor and sell the news. So uh, that's it. Not meme says put Beardy in timeout. Beardy does need a timeout. Beardy works too much. Uh, Marty says into GameFi at all. Like uh, play to earn? Yeah. Like play to earn, like uh, there's uh, Gensukishi Cornucopias. Uh, we just had uh, uh, Robin Josh on the show from the Cornucopias gang. Looks pretty good. And then Avogachi. I think it's a goofy game, but people seem to love it. So, uh, yeah, those types of things. And then like the other stuff, like Star Atlas isn't going to come out for a long time. Hey, Rob, how are you? I feel good. I feel pretty good. If you, as you may have known, I've been uh, feeling under the weather, a little bit uh, sluggish for a couple of weeks and got on some supplementation, feeling pretty great. The supplementation is DHEA pills and Tonkatali. Yeah, great stuff. Helps you to uh, increase uh, testosterone and free testosterone and all that stuff. I'm getting old, man. So, yeah, you got to do those things. Just how it is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> this is a good point. How about I get paid a penny for every email that I read? That's maybe the future. That would be interesting. It'd make, uh, it'd make all those spam emails go away. I can guarantee that, or at least most of them, 99%. Uh, Jason, Satoshi Island deed, NFT elbow cough. Yeah, we had, the, we had the guys over at Satoshi Island on for a little quick, uh, quick video. That's an interesting project. That's an ambitious project. What they're doing is the NFT itself that you're buying is an actual physical plot of land on the uh, western part out of, off of Australia. I forget the name of the island. And uh, they're selling off plots right now. And they've got some pretty big names behind it. But my question was this. How do you, I mean, it's great to do that, but like uh, the infrastructure and disaster relief and the economics of it, like you can build houses, but how do you build like the infrastructure police force, fire department, all those things. And then of course, if there's a natural disaster, who responds to that? Cause it's, you know, it just, it, it looks good. Uh, I just didn't invest into it, but I thought it was, I thought it was cool. That's it. Happy Labor Day. Short card down. <laughs> That's right. Deserved. Yeah, Neil. Neil, I was calling Neil Diamond, Neil Dearman. That's what Stash, Crypto Stash is always talking about. Gala. Gala, Gala, Gala. I have some Gala on Voyager, so it's stuck there. But uh, yeah, I like their games. They look pretty like, like a game that people would actually play. Paul says, uh, hey, Rob, can you store a world mobile token and Cornucopia is on a dataless wallet? Dataless? Oh, a dataless wallet. So dataless wallet... You can do that for bah, 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 for Cornucopia's World Mobile Token. I just have that because I'm a, an Earth Node operator because I invested into World Mobile Token. But I mean, it's built on 
uh, Cardano, the Cardano Foundation, so you should be able to. I have Meld in there as well. I don't see why not. I almost grabbed some land from Cordoncopia. Yeah, could be a good thing. Army Rangers, that's right. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna shave your beard once the bull market starts again. Maybe. Thanks, Abe. Appreciate it. Oof, uh, Rob, what do you think of leveraged ETFs? I'm not a leverage guy, but there's a lot of people that do trade on leverage and all those things. And sure, have at it. I just don't do it. That's all. I stay in my lane. We'll just say that. And that's not my lane. I could try it every so often, but nah. Mm. What do you think about NFTs? Thomas, I, as far as the artwork, I don't understand it, unless it has real-world utility. And some people say, well, this one has utility because you can mint other NFTs and other artwork, and which is you know, financially lucrative. And I'm like, where is the... Where is the real world utility? I don't get it. Like on just the art. Now, as we talked about like deeds of trust and for like a digital ID and emails and passwords and medical records. Cool. Totally get that. Understand. But the other stuff like uh, a board API club and things like that. I understand the exclusive exclusiveness of it. And that's great. But I'm not going to spend that much money just to go to a goofy party in some city and uh, go from there, just saying. And then there's a big question about intellectual property and who really owns that. That's the big question. <laughs> not your mom, not your meatloaf. And because I'm in my mom's basement, this is just a green screen. That's why everybody says that. Uh, I don't use Trust Wallet and every airdrop that I'm not familiar with, I just don't interact with. Because I don't know how that works. And I just, remember, we got the rules in place, right? The rules in place. Uh, the rules are, the, the second one is everything's a scam until proven otherwise. Everything's a scam until proven otherwise. That's the second rule that I live by. And if you treat everything like a scam first, then you're going to be a much happier person. And because it's not how much you make, it's how much you keep. I've known people who have accumulated, you know, uh, massive amounts of crypto, and they've uh, lost a big, good chunk of it because it was a, just a scam. Brown, see, this is a great question, and this will, and then we got to get. I got to get out of here. I'm sorry, folks. What happens, Rob, if Bitcoin hits 100k? Well, everyone is waiting for a disaster, and this is the reason why. For me personally, like everybody's predicting the recession. Even me, I think there's a recession. I think we're in it. I think it's going to continue for two more years. And everybody, everybody predicts risk off assets, not risk on like uh, our entire crypto market. That's what everybody says. And there's 95% of me that's, that is on board with that. But the 5% is like, Rob, it, in the back of my mind, I'm always saying the same thing. Rob, you're not that smart. So even if all these people are, we're going on the same path and we're all going on the same length and we're all gonna be like lemmings and jump off that cliff, Maybe that 5% is wrong. Or, and that's the 5% of my head that goes, okay, don't dollar cross average a ton, but dollar cross average just a little bit. I call it micro DCAing. So instead of me paying, let's, for example, $100 a day, maybe I only spend $25 a day or 25 bucks a week or whatever else it is. And I just do that because I'm like, okay, if I'm right and everything, if Bitcoin does go to 15K, that means that alts will go down way, way lower. So that would suck. But I didn't keep DCAing because I'm like, well, it went down. Now I can start to dynamic DCA and increase my DCA amounts, right? When it starts to hit 15, 13, 12, whatever else it is. But if I'm wrong and I go against and that 95% is incorrect, and the 5% is, and it starts to go up like Brown Coffee Rock says, then it goes, Bitcoin hits 100K. God help us. I don't know why that would happen. The narrative doesn't fit that agenda. But hey, at least I uh, invested a little bit and it'll appreciate, and I'll have dry powder on the side when everything eventually collapses yet again. So that's my philosophy. I just hedge my bet. All right, everybody, I got to get the heck out of here. I'm late for this uh, event. So thanks so much for hanging out with me. Uh, almost a thousand people. It's pretty good. And that's on a Monday. So 
Uh, if you like today's video, thumbs up, subscribe, all that great stuff. And uh, that is it for today. So thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. And I'll see everybody on the next one. Adios. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.